So we all know that nothing, very few things are more annoying than having zombies aimlessly wandering around your place on their own two legs. So, to solve that problem, I have invented the zombie delegger. Here we have the device that will chop the legs right off those annoying zombies and leave them crawling around where they're much easier to bash in the head with an axe. So, uh, yeah, I was going to make some boards. And uh, so I made this Alaskan sawmill thing. And it works okay. I mean, you can see there's a, there's a first log I cut. But my ladder is only this long. And so I'd have to move the ladder, you know, as the initial guide, I'd have to move the ladder every, what is that, eight feet? And, uh, that was a little annoying, but I mean, it did make a, it did make one cut. And so I saw somewhere on YouTube a little cart thing. So I had this uh, electric lawnmower that I'd stole the motor off of, and so it was just a frame. So, and uh, remains of an old weight bench. And so I bolted them together and slapped this little uh, support bracket. And so I bolted this little Alaskan sawmill that I made onto there, and it cuts pretty well. This little uh, Husqvarna 51 has got a 49cc engine in it, and uh, it's pretty underpowered. But I think uh, if this, so, so far this test is going pretty good, but I think what I'll do eventually is get a couple steel plates and make a bar and chain carrier, and put an electric motor with a chain sprocket on it. And then I can run this off of like maybe a, I don't know, maybe a one and a half or two horse electric motor. And I think it would work just as good as what it does off of here. Because I have to go fairly slow. But, uh, yeah. All them uh, little bits and pieces and ideas are starting to come together. So anyway, if you decide to make, uh, make yourself a zombie delegger, Got an extra lawnmower bed laying around. There you go. See if this will run. Alright, so you can see there's there's quite a lot of lava here. And that was just pushing it with one hand way out here. So you can see there's the force is being applied against the bar that way, my hands way over there, so there's a little bit of a little bit of twist to it. And this metal is really really thin and it's kinda kinda weak. Then only having this one point right here, and my uh, my fitting isn't very well isn't very tight. So I got this uh, packing strap as a shim and I think we, if I lengthen this out and and build it to closer tolerances I can get it to slide a little better like these slide up and down and I actually had to use uh, lapping compound so I stuck lapping compound here and slid these back and forth in order to get these to to, ma to, to mate up and uh, they're pretty pretty minimum on their uh, play. I don't know, probably ten thousandths or something. Way too tight. tight. As you can see this is going to rust up if I don't keep it oiled. You know, this inside is already starting to rust up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I got a new new bar showed up today and this new uh, ripping chain and uh, it cuts faster than than what the saw can power. So this is uh, is turning out pretty good. Maybe I can get some boards made and uh, get some projects done. <laughs>